Welcome to Tech Teach. So here an example is given. So in an example, it is the basic example of circuit switching network. So here it is going to connect eight telephone telephones are there. They are going to connect into in a small area. So here it is saying like for a voice signal. They require four kilohertz as the for sending the voice. For that, eight devices are there, eight phones are there, and each phone, uh, each telephone requires four kilohertz as the voice channel. Or because the voice voice is having a frequency, uh, so that by it is going to require a four kilohertz of frequency, and it is going to have eight telephones connected, and also once it is in terms of frequency, it is talking about. So here it is going to say like. It is assumed to have each link uses FDM frequency dividend multiplexing to connect the maximum number of two voice channels. So if one voice channel is requiring four kilohertz, so two voice channels will be requiring eight kilohertz. So bandwidth will be like eight kilohertz for each link because it's saying like each link is utilizing only two devices to be connected. This is the complete scheme that is given here in the circuit switch network. Eight Telephones are there. So one, two, three, four, four on the sender side and four at the receiver side. OK, so this four at the receiver side are basically going to have system like they will be able to. Take the data from the four input telephone. So they will be providing the source side and there will be the lesson side. In between that, there is a circuit switched network. So for circuit switched network, there is a requirement of what the switches. So this is one switch that is at the input side. Okay, one switch, then another switch, and this is like three switches are there. This is going to take four devices. So four inputs should be there into this switch. So it is like switch one. This is switch two, switch three. So switch one is going to take four inputs. So it is four inputs and four outputs will be there. So out of these four outputs, because it is assumed like the link uses FDM to connect maximum two devices. That means this link can accept two voice signals at a time. That means one voice signal is of four kilohertz. This is of four kilohertz. So, so this link will be having eight kilohertz bandwidth. So 8 kilohertz bandwidth is represented by this graph, like starting with 0 to 8 kilohertz. So this is 8 kilohertz bandwidth is there for each channel. Okay. So in this switch, so switch how basically it's connect is so it is internally connected. So it is it is shown for reference only. So here the telephone one that is having a 4 kilohertz bandwidth, 0 to 4 kilohertz. So maximum minus minimum. That is bandwidth. So 4 minus 0 is 4 uh, kilohertz. So it is sending a signal that is having a bandwidth of 4 kilohertz. It will be passed through this line. So one will be going this way, then through this second link, and then it will be going here, and then it will be connected with the 7. So here the telephone 1 will be connected with telephone 7 by this way. So this switch will be directly providing a connection. So the internally, it uh, for reference, this will be the uh, type of connection that will be taking place inside a switch. So yes, telephone one is connected with telephone seven. Similarly, two is connected with this six. So two is connected with five. So it is connected with five. Similarly, the three is connected to eight. So three is there that is connected to eight one. So this is how connection can be done. In case of circuit switch network, uh, of course, the situation may change when new connections are made. So if some new connections are made, some other uh, devices are going to connect here as a uh, at the sender side, then some other switches will be required. So the connection may be varying. OK, the switch controls the connection. So whatever the connection should be done between one and suppose one wants to connect with five. If one wants to connect with five, so this one internal connection will change to here. OK, so based on the connection between one and five, one and seven, one and six, likewise, the switches will be deciding to connect or uh, to search for a direct path between the source and the 
destination. So for connections, controlling the connections, switches will be responsible. That was the basic like uh, example of a circuit switch network. So another example here is given for a circuit switch network that connects computers in two remote offices of a private company. So here two different remote offices are there. So this is the complete circuit switch network is there. So this is like office one is there and this is office two. So office one is having four computers and office two is having eight computers. So they are connected. So office one and office two is directly connected with a switch. So this switch is four cross eight means four inputs will be there and eight output will be there. So this is like input and this is output four input eight output. So four input. So this four input will be like this. This are the four inputs. And output like this is the output. Means output lines will be there. And this switch is connected with another switch. So because this is four, so it will be again having a four plus eight. So four as the input. So whatever data is coming, it will be taking four as the input. And eight is as the output. So it will be outputting it likewise. The basic idea here is when there is uh, office one computer one wants to connect with office two computer one, then it will be following this path. Inside this will be routed internally. This switch will be basically creating a direct path between this and to an output device output uh, uh, link. Basically, this will be output channel which will be going through the link. This link is having some channel capacity. So here it is going to say like this is the Mbps or in terms of frequency we can write it out. OK, so what is some frequency will be there? So from starting to some F hertz or kilohertz, this will be having the frequency. So based on four devices connected, this will be divided into four different channels. So one channel will be dedicated for and then it will be going to here. Then it will be establishing the connection likewise internally and then it will be connected with uh, one of the office two. So suppose if one, two, three, four, if they want to communicate with each other, this one, two, three, four of office one wants to communicate with each other. So for that, there is a reverse back connection. Okay, so output four outputs are connected to here. So if one wants to connect with suppose three, so in that case, so this one will be connecting with three. So three is connected here. So it will be coming here and connecting to this. So now one wants to com communicate with three. So this will be the connection that will be decided by the switch itself. So this is the basic idea about uh, the different. Uh, switch uh, circuits, circuit switching uh, networks basically. Mm -hmm.